Travel Like Birds of a Feather presents Bali, Indonesia, known as the Island of the Gods. Located in Southeast Asia, this magical and beautiful place is known for its rugged jungles, its exotic beaches, and its wonderful culture and people. It has volcanic slopes and rice paddy fields cascading throughout the landscape. From clubbing in Kuta to surfing and shopping, if you'd like a more calm and spiritual experience, go to Ubud. It has became notorious thanks to Instagram images and reels. We will highlight history, hotels, beaches, things to do, and when to go. If you have any questions or want to add to our details, comment below. Also, please like, subscribe, and click the bell. This helps the YouTube algorithm to get our content to you and your friends. Thank you. History. Around the 7th century CE, Chinese traders and Indian literates brought Hinduism to the Balinese. In World War II, the Japanese occupied Bali. The Dutch began visiting in 1597, and in 1906 captured Bali after many battles. Dutch troops and Indonesian revolutionary forces battled in 1946 and in 1950 became part of the Republic of Indonesia. Due to Balinese Hinduism in everyday life and in Balinese architecture is why it is nicknamed Island of the Gods. For Bali essentials, travel like birds of a feather likes to bring drones, luggage, backpacks, guidebooks, and travel hack items. Links are in the description to make traveling to Bali easier and more fun. Hotels. We have selected a few hotels in categories of luxury, family, and budget in different locations on Bali. In the area of Jimbaran, one of our favorite areas due to its few tourists that visit close to the airport and has white sands that make up the sparkling bay. There aren't many places to stay, eat, or drink, but when 4 p.m. comes, the magnificent restaurants put up tables and chairs on the bay to eat delicious seafood with the sunset. Luxury and Family Hotel We recommend is the Four Seasons Resort Bali at Jimbaran Bay. This hotel has three unforgettable pools. One that stands out is the infinity pool that cascades seemingly to the beach below. There are two restaurants, a spa, complimentary yoga and water sports, and a Ganesha cultural center that you can be a part of. Rituals and interactive opportunities with virtuosos of Balinese art, music, and crafts. There are 147 villas, each with a plunge pool, and nine residences in a private compound. A budget hotel is the open house Jimbaran Bali, located one minute from Jimbaran Bay Beach. This cozy place features a pool, garden, and gazebo. There is a restaurant and a sweet coffee shop. On to Kuta area. Known for its wild atmosphere and clubs lined with tourists. It is loved or hated depending on the type of person because of its crowds, noise, and traffic. Luxury hotel is Alam Ku Ku Boutique Resort. It has two pools, two restaurants, a spa, and is one to five minutes walking to Kuta Beach and Lijian Beach. It has been around for 30 years. Budget hotels are Sheraton Bali Kuta Resort and Best Western Kuta Beach. A family-friendly hotel is the Hard Rock Hotel Bali, which has the largest free-form outdoor pool in Bali. It has rock climbing walls, sand island, a spa, and a restaurant. It's also beachfront. There's free parking, fitness center, and a kids and teen club. Ubud area. 
made up of a collection of villages in central Bali. It is a spiritual and cultural wonderland. Hotels are surrounded by dense jungle, flowing rivers, and mystical fog. It is known for its temples and springs at Turta Impul, traditional dances, elephant safari park, and markets. There are many luxury hotels here. We recommend Viceroy Bali, a five-star, sits with views of Pitanu River, with luxury villas with private pools. Its main infinity pool descends into the lush jungles. It is only five minutes from the center of Ubud and offers free Wi-Fi and shuttle service to Ubud Center. There is an award-winning restaurant named Cascades Restaurant that serves fusion French and Asian cuisine. There is an additional restaurant, a spa with yoga classes and free energy drinks, and a library. The hotel is an hour from Nagira Rai International Airport. If you'd like though, there's also a 12-minute helicopter ride to the airport as well. The other luxury and family we recommend is Four Seasons Bali at Cyan. A budget hotel is Alam Inde, located in Nyo Kunig village. It has a pool and terrace. It is close to Ubud Monkey Forest, Ubud Market, and has free shuttle service. A new property is Buahan Banyan Tree Escape. Check them out. Last location we will cover is Somanayak, a close proximity to bustling Kuta, but far enough away that it is serene and classy. The luxury hotel we will talk about is Anatara Uwatu is a world-class destination. It has an infinity pool, spa, and a fitness center. Each room comes with a hot tub and free Wi-Fi. Anatara is 40 minutes from the airport 15 minutes from Nusa Dua Beach, and you can take a free shuttle to Padang Beach. There are three restaurants as well. A budget hotel is Puri Sindana Resort, which is located on Somonayak Beach, and a five minute drive from shops in Somonayak. The rooms are Balinese style and include free Wi-Fi. Those are our recommendations for hotels. If you would like us to make a video on just accommodations in more detail and more reviews on hotels, Airbnbs, and hostels, please comment below. If you have anything to add, let us know. Next, top four beaches we recommend are number one, Simoniac Beach in South Bali between Kuta and Legion. Unlike Kuta and Legion, Simoniac is fashionable and classy with its many hotels, shops, and restaurants. Be sure to catch the beanbag chairs set across the sand by the cafes late afternoon for a dreamy sunset and crisp cocktail. This beach is family friendly and popular for surfers. The waves that bring the surfers are not ideal for swimmers though. Number two is an underdeveloped and under the radar named Crystal Bay. It is on Nusa Pinida Island, an hour by speedboat from Bali. It is so isolated that there aren't many tourists and just a cafe or two. Scuba divers and snorkelers love to come to the pristine reefs. A bonus on Nusa Pinida, a beach known for its Instagram fame. It's an hour boat ride from Bali. Its beach, Kaling King, is iconic turquoise waters and green cliffs that are carved into looking like a dinosaur. Number three, Nusa Dua Beach is great for families and honeymooners. It has four and five star resorts that are quiet, peaceful, and filled with gardens looking out onto the glittering waters met by white powdered sands. If you would like to indulge in the club scene, Kuta is not far. Number four, Kuta a renowned beach for its wide sand beach, sunsets, and surfing. It is surrounded with bars, clubs, malls, and places to rent surfboards, lounge chairs, and buy drinks. Other beaches worth mentioning are Tanjung Bino, Balang, and Pasar Putin. 
Things to do. Things to do in Bali are endless. From water sports to chasing waterfalls, island hopping to sunset watching, yoga and tranquil jungle retreats, water rafting to downhill mountain biking. There is much to do, but you will be able to decide by your style of traveling. We will introduce five vibes. Number one, tranquility. A must is to soak in one of Bali's infamous infinity pools. We recommend Viceroy Hotel, the Hanging Gardens of Ubud, or the drone shots on Instagram of the edge in Uwatu's glass bottom pool. Other tranquil activities are doing yoga at a jungle retreat. Great ones to look into are at the Four Seasons Siam, Ubud, high up in the jungle trees. The power of now, Senor with views of the dazzling Indian Ocean, Yoga Barn in Ubud, and Ulawutu Surf Villas. Number two, nature. Visit one of the many beaches we recommended. Also chase waterfalls such as Git Git in Singarinja, Sikampu in Singarinja, and Sing Sing waterfalls in Luvina. Visit Bamboo Inda, either stay in the accommodations or get a day pass to see wildlife, endless greenery, cold springs, a riverside warung, and rushing rapids. See a magical sunset and end with a beach bonfire. Take a dolphin watching boat tour in Luvina. Be overwhelmed with endless amounts of monkeys. Lastly, snorkel Bali's endless amounts of pristine reefs. Number three, culture. Find a traditional healer or check out Pura Limpuliang, i.e. the gateway to heaven, temple gates. Watch a Balinese traditional dance. Visit a morning market. Be grateful for the workers in the rice paddy fields. A popular one is Telgala Lang Rice Terraces in Ubud. Visit traditional temples such as Ulan Dahu Buratan, Bisaki Temple, or Pira Tana Lot. Try different restaurants from beach cafes to street food to award dining seafood restaurants. Number four, adventure. In Ubud, you can whitewater raft on Aeung River, mountain bike downhill, and quad bike in the forest. Explore Bali on a scooter. Water sports abound. Even surf. Hike to the top of Mount Bator. Visit some of the best beach clubs and beach bars, like Rock Bar in Jimbaran. Hang in King Gu with the boho vibes and the in crowd. Finally, get swept away by Bali's nightlife, most likely going until dawn. And number five, family friendly. Visit Water Bum Water Park, Bali Chocolate Factory, and the Bali Zoo. See monkeys at Monkey Forest, have breakfast with orangutans at the zoo, bird watch at Bali Bird Park, and the Elephant Safari Park. Lastly, at the Bali Sea Turtle Society, book a chance to be a part of the process of conservation, nest protection, hatching, and awareness of the endangered turtles. Extra tip, download GoJek. This app has everything you need to know about Bali, every resource you would need. We believe the most important thing to check is when to go. High season, April through August, lots of tourists, best for beaches, hotels peaks in June through September, also holiday season November and December. Rainy season is November through March, January has the most rainfall. This season brings mosquitoes. This season is good for anyone visiting temples or doing yoga. The rain in Ubud takes the jungle to a new level. Grass and rice paddies are greener 
and the sound of the rain is dreamy. To ward off mosquitoes, drink lemongrass tea as a repellent to bugs. Best time to hike Mount Bator is May through September for dry and clear views. Best time for fewer crowds, October, January, and February, and great deals. This is up to what your preferences are and your trip plans. Thank you for listening to our recommendations for Bali. If you want more detail on one of the categories or specific places, comment below. If you have been to Bali and have great advice, tell us. Our essential Bali packing list includes drones, luggage, backpacks, guidebooks, and little helpful travel hacks. These items are in the description below. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for YouTube algorithm to help share our videos to you and your friends. If you would like us to make a detailed itinerary for you on Bali, comment below. Thank you.